Top Democrats finally meeting with Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Senator Dianne Feinstein sat down with him today uh, ahead of Senator Schumer's meeting that's scheduled for tomorrow. They have both said they'll appeal to him directly for more documents from his time at the White House under former President George W. Bush. And they have threatened to sue the National Archives if they don't get what they want. Back now with the power panel. Mary Ann Marsh and Nan Hayworth. Mary Ann, I want to start with you. Some pretty incendiary uh, comments that you made about the president and the documents and Brett Kavanaugh. Well, to your point earlier, if if the president says, if Donald Trump says he's going to listen to his lawyers and his lawyers tell him not to go for the interview and Mueller wants it, Mueller can subpoena him. Then I would fully expect there to be to appeal that all the way to the Supreme Court. Donald Trump and his team, and you can see it from Rudy Giuliani's interviews, stalling until they get Kavanaugh on that Supreme Court to be the tiebreaker in this case, one would predict. I think that has everything to do with this nomination. Nan, during the commercial, you had a visceral reaction to that. <laughs> well, because, uh, number one, uh, we don't. Rudy Giuliani, I would expect to say exactly what he's saying as a good lawyer for the president. Uh, there is definitely, uh, and everybody's talked about it, the risk of a perjury trap. And a perjury trap doesn't mean uh, that, that someone actually need to tell is legally truth. liable. Well, of course, but, uh, you know, there are all kinds of ways in which something trivial uh, that is not important and really not germane to the bigger issue uh, becomes part of that. So I think Rudy Giuliani is just being a good lawyer. The reason that... Uh, there's so much stalling on uh, by the Democratic side on the Kavanaugh uh, nomination is because politically they are trying to get maximum mileage out of it. I understand that, Marianne. I mean, as a Democrat, they, of course, you'd want them to do that, I'm, I would imagine. No, actually, they just want the documents. And the fact oh. is that They've Kavanaugh had... has had a long public career, yes. both on the Bush-Gore recount, then the Starr investigation before right. that, in the Bush White House sure. as a judge. Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, every single document, not just their public service and anywhere, but also private board meeting notes were turned over for their confirmations. He should be held to the same standard. Democrats, though, know that they can't stop this this confirmation. So I, then my question was early on in all of this before Schumer and, and others had decided that they would sit, although the argument is they're only sitting so they can directly ask him for the documents, was why didn't you have them in droves? You know, Elena Kagan, Republicans sat with her. And I've heard the talking point of how no Republican sat with Merrick Garland. Call Suzanne Collins or Susan Collins, excuse me, and tell her office that that didn't happen. I, you know, the stalling that's going on that, that Nan is talking about, though, is really critical because this is not a winner for Democrats leading up to the midterms. I would say two things. You assume that this will be a party vote. And I'm not sure that's the case. There are some Democrats who are considering there voting are for Kavanaugh. Three and or so in red and states. And there are also Republicans who, under circumstances, if evidence is brought out about Kavanaugh that would show him to be unsuitable, they would consider not voting for him as well. The same will be true of the Specific Mueller report as well. to the Republicans, like Susan Collins, who've spoken up, they're looking for things with Roe versus Wade. That was not mm -hmm. a litmus test question that the president had asked. Oh, and that's not true. That's not true. Harris, with all due respect, he, the, he said he Donald wasn't going Trump, to make that a Donald Trump test. said when he was running for president that his list would only include people who wanted to overturn Roe v. He Wade. He spoken and he was on right it about recently that. and said that. I'll bring you both Break. back. Thank <laughs> you. We're out of time. We'll be right back.